It's time for Washington Fish Quest. This episode's target species, green sunfish. Hey Washington Fish Questers, Blake here. You know, when I started the channel back in March of 2012, I made an extensive list of all the fish I looked forward to catching. Uh, some of them, of course, excited me more than others. One that excited me quite a bit, actually, was the green sunfish. Now, that might seem a bit peculiar, because green sunfish do not get very big, maybe six, seven inches tops in our waters, and uh, they're not very widely distributed either. You can maybe find them ten places east of the Cascades and three or four on the west side. Uh, however, a reason that I thought they were so cool is they have an extremely aggressive temperament. So, you know, most sunfish, like uh, bluegill or crappie, they tend to congregate unless they're guarding their reds, uh, you know, after spawning. However, uh, the green sunfish is very solitary due to their aggression. In fact, uh, here's some original knowledge for you. Uh, in uh, tank studies, the dominant green sunfish uh, will attack an intruding fish if it crosses into its uh, territory that they define, and they will meet it head to head and have it with locked jaws twisting and rolling as they settle to the bottom. And eventually the dominant fish gets more and more aggressive and the submissive fish get more and more torn up to the point that they eventually don't uh, stray into the foraging area of the most dominant one anymore. So I thought that was cool, just A on the aggression and B that it should be a pretty hard fish to target if they're not uh, schooled up like that. So the nearest body of water to me that holds the green sunfish is Clear Lake. It is uh, kind of upstream on the Nisqually River Still over an hour from my house, and it's on the Thurston County side. So I set out for just an evening trip, see if I couldn't get into a couple. Clear Lake was beautiful and lived up to its name. Uh, just look at this crystal clear water. You could see down, geez, certainly over 10 feet. I feel like closer to 15. It did have these really weird barrels littered throughout the lake. Uh, that was kind of a head scratcher, uh, but didn't seem to affect the clarity if things were leaking out of them, I guess. Uh, at any rate, uh, I didn't get a lot of good footage this trip because my bow cam, uh, that had been great the last couple of years, and that was actually a donation from Tyler Hicks, so thanks again, Tyler, that was uh, really great. Finally gave up the ghost. So I was trying with a new uh, experiment here with a much cheaper bow cam <laughs> on a bent-out Christmas reef holder, and uh, it didn't quite work out, as you can see here. So, uh, lesson learned there. The clear water was definitely a double-edged sword. There wasn't that many fish in the shallows, I think, because of it, because you can just look right down and see them. I did see one big uh, green sunfish that I could, didn't get on film, but just a beautiful colored fish, and it was under this small dock here. I threw everything in the box at it. Uh, beetle spinge, you know, small grubs, Berkeley gulp minnows, I even threw uh, live bait, you know, some night crawlers at it. And uh, nothing doing. It was, uh, it looked just looked right at them, had no interest. So I figured it wasn't going to be a successful trip as far as getting the main species goes. Uh, you know, although a beautiful day nonetheless. I did give it one last desperation attempt uh, when, when the night was kind of over and I was back on the shore. Shoot, I don't know if you can see this, but... I forgot to give it one last cast with my little worm and micro bobber. I'll take a picture of it, but I think I did catch a really small green sunfish just as I was wrapping up for the day. Holy smokes. I just uh, casted it out at the launch here, uh, just as a kind of last dish effort type of a deal, and uh, there you go. I'm going to get this little guy safely back to the water. Uh, you know, <laughs> not my proudest fish quest, but uh, I'll take a win, I guess. 